Here's how to get complimentary unbound shaders for Minecraft 1.21.7. Let's go. Now, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to place you in this article that teaches you how to get the shaders in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go down to step one and press complimentary unbound. That is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to select game version and we're going to select 1.21.7. And then we're going to go ahead and hit on these three dots and hit download file. That is going to begin the download within five seconds of complimentary unbound. And I want you to go ahead and place that file in your desktop. You can find that file here here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, at this point, if you already have some type of shader loader like Iris or Optifine, just go ahead and add complementary unbound to your shader packs folder. But if you don't have any type of shader loader, then let's go ahead and install Iris. Click on the third link in the description that is going to place you in this article again, in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go down to step one and press on Iris shaders. That is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to hit download universal jar. And that is going to begin the download of the installer of Iris right away. And just like earlier, we're going to find that file here on our and download history. Now we are ready to begin. First, make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And it is very important that you have played Minecraft 1.21.7 at least once on your computer. Then go ahead and double click on the Iris installer. That is going to open this installer in here and select 1.21.7 and hit install. And if the installer of Iris didn't open for you, that's most likely because you don't have Java 21. Java 21 is a requirement when modding Minecraft 1.21.7. So I'll leave you this in the description as well. This teaches you how to install Java 21 and it's actually quite simple. You just download it, hit next a couple of times, and then you'll be able to open the installer of iris now once iris has finished installing it's going to say completed in here go ahead and close it and you could even delete the installer of iris from your desktop because you don't need it anymore now it's time to add complementary unbound to the game here's how to do it go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and while the minecraft launcher opens if you need a minecraft server use the first link in the description and get 40 percent with apex hosting this is a limited time deal and i don't know how long it's going to last because 40 percent is insane of a discount with apex hosting so again first link in the description will get you 40 percent off with apex hosting for those of you that need a minecraft server now back in the Minecraft launcher, if you did everything properly, when it opens, you should have Iris and Sodium selected here automatically. You could also find it here under installations. Just make sure you select mod it and that'll bring up Iris and Sodium 1.21.7. Now let's add the shaders. Go ahead and launch your game, hit play over here. Now, once your game opens to add your shaders, you could go ahead and launch a single player world, or you could also add shaders to multiplayer worlds. Most servers to support shader loaders, but if you don't have a server that supports your shaders, you could just go ahead and create one using the first link in the description. Now, once you're in a world, your game is not gonna have any shaders, it's going to look like mine. And to add complementary inbound, this is what you want to do. Go ahead and press escape on your keyboard, head over to options, and then head over to video settings. In here, head over to shader packs. You're going to see that that menu has changed. And now in here, you probably don't have any shaders. As you can see, I have a lot of them. But what you want to do is make your game a little bit smaller, just enough so you can see your desktop. And now go ahead and drag and drop complementary inbound into the shader packs area in here, into the shader packs menu. Once you add it in here, it's going to load right away. And as you can see, mine is right here. Then you're going to go ahead and select your shaders, your complementary inbound, and you're going to press apply down here. And within a couple seconds, you're going to have a beautiful looking game. There we have it. The game has loaded the shaders in. And there you have it. That's complementary inbound in Minecraft 1.21.7. Now, you could also disable these shaders just by pressing K on your keyboard, just the letter K on your keyboard. And if you press it again, you will see that your shaders load back in. And there you guys have it, how to get complementary inbound for Minecraft 1.21.7. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.